Hey, what's up? It's Adam. I recently finished a pretty big project in which I turned this old piano into what I'm calling the synesthesia coffee table. So let's get into it. All right, so this project all started when I noticed that one of my neighbors was throwing away a broken baby grand piano. It was in pretty rough shape, the legs were snapped off, there was a lot of water damage, and there was a lot of scratching to the finish, including the filigree on the legs and the feet, and the pedals of the piano were very tarnished and in pretty rough repair. I knew I wanted to do something with this piano, but I wasn't sure exactly what. Ultimately, I ended up deciding that I wanted to take the legs and the lid and pedals and turn it into a coffee table. I had been getting into some string art where you put nails in wood and then wrap different colored threads around those nails in various patterns to make this um, mandala type patterns. So I decided I wanted to cover the surface of the table with these patterns and then uh, cover that with glass to give it a usable surface. So the first thing that I got into was polishing up those tarnished petals using some brass polish and it brought out a really nice shine. Next, I ended up moving on to the very long process of stripping all of that old finish off of the wooden surface. They ended up coming out pretty well. I got all of the pieces down to the bare wood and they were ready for staining in the future. The piano lid was hinged and I wanted to make it one solid piece. So after I finished stripping all the finish off, I ended up drilling some holes to attach the two pieces with dowels. I was left with a pretty sizable gap where the hinge used to sit. I decided to make a wooden inlay with a piece of scrap hardwood that I had lying around. I just kept planing it until it finally fit well into that gap and then planed it down so that it was flush with the surface of the table. Finally, I flipped the piano over and I added two metal brackets to the back, bridging that gap just to add some additional strength. I ran into a little bit of a problem with the pedal mechanism attachment to the base of the piano lid. I didn't have a clear way to attach it, so I ended up making a piece of plywood that each of the legs of the pedal mechanism could attach to and then I could attach that piece of plywood to the base of the piano lid. I wanted the pedals to be purely decorative, so I locked them in place with two pieces of cut dowel. Before getting too deep into the project, I took this opportunity to make a paper template of the tabletop so that I could send it off to the glass cutters. At this point, I wanted to finalize the design of the string art that would cover the surface of the table. So I messed around on Photoshop with a lot of different designs and ultimately this is the one that I ended up with. I cut out paper circles of the same diameter of each of the mandalas in the final design and used those to recreate the design on the actual table. Next, I transferred the circles using pencil onto the tabletop itself and using a 360 degree protractor, a piece of thread, and a pencil and a lot of time, I marked the circumference of the circles either every two or three degrees based on that circumference. Then I took my power drill and individually drilled 840 pilot holes for the nails. Then it was time to play with the positioning of the table legs. I wanted them to be pretty strong, so I ended up bridging the gaps between them with pieces of cut two by four. The metal brackets that I had added earlier were interfering with the positioning of one of the 2x4s, so I cut some grooves in that 2x4 with some chisels to make room for them. Then it was time to stain the surface of the table, and this ended up being a bit of a disaster. As soon as I applied the first layer of stain, the color looked good, but the fact that the surface of the table started to expand while the undersurface was not, it started to cup and bend. Um, I was able to fix this by placing the table on two pieces of two by four so I could get some pressure in the opposite direction. But then the veneer that covered the surface of the table actually started to peel off with the moisture of the stain. So I had to take a syringe and inject glue under the veneer surface and place weights. It was a whole disaster, but I think the crisis was ultimately avoided. After finishing the legs with a couple of coats of spray lacquer, it was time to attach them to the bottom of the piano lid. I attached the legs using bolts to the bottom of the piano lid, and then I attached the 2x4s to the legs using a pocket hole jig. I also added a T faceplate to the joint between the 2x4s for some additional strength. I was starting to get really excited because it was actually starting to look like a table. Due to the fact that the mandalas were overlapping in the string art design, I needed the nails to be at various heights. 
So I designed these tools that would help me place the nails at intervals of one eighth of an inch. And then it was time to insert all the nails and this took a fair bit of time. So I wanted the glass to be supported by cut pieces of dowels around the perimeter of the table. Because of that disaster I told you about with the staining and the cupping of the tabletop, the surface was not completely level. So I actually needed to, using a piece of two by four and a level, figure out the height of each of the dowels that I would need based on its position on the table. This was pretty time consuming, but I ended up with all of the various dowel heights that I needed to have a level surface for the glass. This project had already taken quite a bit of time, but now is time for the most time consuming process, placing the actual string art. and then it was time to put it all together. And that was it. Two months of work came together into what I think turned out to be a pretty cool coffee table. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Get out. Why can't I see? All right, fine. <clears throat> yeah, crinkle that a little more. <laughs> uh, all right.